What a beautiful wedding ceremony! Right in the living room! Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. We're joined with our Sims that for some reason sound like women even though they're men. Man, I hate this glitch, but it's kind of funny, I gotta admit. So in the last episode, I do believe we aged up Jeremiah and his outfit is currently tragic. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and change him. I do not like what he's wearing. I'm sorry about it, but you gotta change that outfit, boy. Let's try find something real cute to put him in. Oh my gosh, look at this jumper. I quite like this. Oh, actually, this is so much better. Take a look at this. <gasps> I love that. I've never seen it before, but it needs to be in my life, definitely. It's so awesome. Yes, look at his outfit. He's already looking 10 times better. Wow, his outfit is a real swanky. Then we have his sportswear. You know what? I don't think we really need to change the rest. Maybe just the sleeping, because our sims never change into anything else, do they? Let's admit. There we go. Cute. Living for it. So we've changed his outfit now. Oh, and apparently because it was Valentine's Day, there is someone out here, like a sim who you can ask for advice and they make it so that your relationships improve three times quicker, which I love that. I really want to try and get this person to help us. Oh, what? Noth just aged up. I'm sorry, Noth. I had no idea. That's really awkward. Anyway, because it is Kanye West child, we're going to go for popularity. They want to be real popular and they are going to be a party animal. Also for another trait because I've already got music lover. We're gonna have materialistic. Awesome. So we are currently pregnant. We are in our first trimester. Oh my gosh. So it's gonna take a while for us to have this baby. I just remember, didn't Scott post online for a friend? Check for pen pal replies, Scott. Did you get any? Meanwhile, Amy is going around mopping everything up when she really doesn't need to. Gunther Munch would like to come out and hang. Would that be okay? Isn't it a bit late? It's 3 a.m. right now, Gunther. Why? Why would you want to come over at this time? A little bit absurd of you. How is everyone doing with school? Why are you not in a bed? I'm so confused. North, go to sleep. We have so many beds and people are just not choosing to sleep in them. This is so funny to me. Look at everyone just stood here eating their food. They're just like stuck. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh wow, Amy's bump is looking really strange. What? That is so weird. Also her jeans, they look real dirty. I don't know if they're meant to look like that, but damn, they look gross. Oh yeah, we had the bills delivered. We don't have any money. It's so fun being poor in this game. We haven't even been able to like upgrade rooms in so long now. I definitely need to get on that work grind. We have a load of vegetables to sell though, so all is good. Let's get Scott to go and check if there's any pen pal replies. We still can't afford to pay the bills yet, but we are getting there. So let's see. I genuinely am curious to see who replies. If there is a sim that's nearby or really far away, I'm not sure. Anyone? Ooh, I have a new pen pal from Sunset Valley. I remember when everyone and their mother used to live in Sunset Valley. Times have changed. So do we get to speak to them? Like, where are they? So confused. Do we talk to our pen pal? Socialize, write letter to Sunset Valley. Let's do it. I'm so curious to see what this says. What if we make a new friend? This is so interesting. I started doing the writing skill. Meanwhile, Amy is doing some painting because we are poor and we need money. It's almost Kyle's birthday. Is he a great A? No. Looks like he's not getting a birthday cake either. Why are all of my sims so terrible? Why can they not do school properly? And it's almost Bernie's birthday too. Oh no. We better try and get these guys graded up. I honestly am trying, but they're really hard to do. I don't know why. They're so miserable. Okay, so I actually managed to do something good. I tried my hardest to get everyone's skills completed and their homeworks completed. I think the only person who didn't get it done is North, but that's okay because he just aged up, so that's fine. Aid a friend. 
Bernie's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today. Since he's taken it earlier in the day, Bernie could easily remember the questions and slip his friend the answers. Should he do it or just let his friend figure it out? Let's share the answers. All it takes is a few answers to make sure that Bernie's friend passes. Now his friend owes him a favour. Not a bad position to be in. Yay. Also, we have enough money to pay our bills. This is great. Not quite sure what trimester we're in now. Ooh, we're ready to give birth whenever, which is great. And it looks like our boyfriend, the cleaner, has come in. Although, I don't really like him. I know he was a very cute guy to get with, but I don't like him that much. It's kind of awkward. Like, I don't know. We love him. Like, I think we have lust for him, but we aren't really like friends with him. I just don't get on with him that well. Oh wow, that bump though. The shape of that bump is hideous. Looks like I'm done here. That was 56 simoleons and all he did was put a single thing in the bin. Really? Well, I think we should go ahead, use the toilet and pay our bills. We can get some electricity up in here and I'm gonna start saving so we can fill out this area here. I don't know what we're gonna put in here. Maybe like a coat rack, a hat stand, some shoes and stuff. Just make this place look a little bit more welcoming because currently it's just empty. It looks so strange. And our oven is broke, so we gotta repair that. Oh, let's get Scott to check on his pen pal. Let's see if they wrote back to us. Socialize ask for a postcard from them. I don't know if they ever wrote back to us. Maybe we got mail. I don't think we got anything from them. We wrote them a letter and they didn't even send us anything back. I feel like this pen pal is a waste of our time, not gonna lie. Oh, Bernie is a great A now, yay. This has actually worked for some Sims, proud of them. It is a Bernie is a great A, I believe we should bake him a cake and age him up so we can move him out. Let's go ahead and do that then. Hamburger cake for Bernie. So let's get Bernie downstairs and blow out the candles. Also, I feel like Amy's baby is taking so long to come out today. What is going on? Here he is, time to age it up. He's aged up so much faster than everybody else. So crazy. Yay. So let's go ahead and have him have the knowledge traits. We'll give him the nerd brain. And let's also give him geek. There we go. All of his things are like, he's so brainy. Wow. Awesome. So I wonder if we could maybe find him a girlfriend and just move him out straight away. I'm not sure if he knows any women. It's the exact same problem we're having with Scott right now. We don't know any women. Who is Eden? She's a teen. Oh. Oh, Amy's just gone into labor. Are there any women in this whole town? I feel like we're using up a lot of our sims and a lot of our sims are dying actually, which is intense. So many of our family members are now dead. Okay, let's go ahead and have the baby. Into the nursery we go. Amy is having a baby. Wow, what a weird shaped bump. I can't wait to get rid of it. Okay, let's randomize the name. Oh, Michelle, we've not done that before. Such a, a nice name. Reminds me of a middle-aged woman because my auntie is actually called Michelle. So there we go. Time to get rid of that really weird bum. Amy and Linus had a baby. I do believe this may be a vampire baby. Hopefully it is anyway, because I'd really love to have a vampire baby. Uh-oh, and she's just gonna collapse on the floor there. Oh dear. You might wanna feed that baby before you go to sleep. All poor Scott wants is someone to hug. We should try and see if there's anyone here. Oh, he's too uncomfortable. Let's see if there's anyone that wants to talk to him. Apparently there's trash in here, so let's get rid of that. Let's make him comfortable. He only likes it if it's clean. Write another letter. Are we ever gonna be able to talk to someone from Sunset Valley? Or is it just a myth? Are they not a real person? Danica, she's a teen. Apparently we're related to her. I didn't even know she was. Secret, who is this? We're her sister, apparently. What, there's so many people I've never heard of. The next woman that walks by is gonna be our new girlfriend. You are gonna be our girlfriend. I don't care if you have a boyfriend, you're all gonna be our girlfriend, okay? I'm gonna ask if you're single. Yes, we're thinking about bed because we're very, very tired. We're also very single. Don't leave us. She's running away. She does not want to be with us. Oh no, oh, she left. But when we have slept, we will get that woman and she will be ours. Ingrid Hurley, never heard of her. 
Let's have her over. She's a vampire. Start the gathering, everyone. Can she actually garden in the day if she's a vampire? How does that work? Why does nobody come to the gardening club anymore? Is everyone part of it? What's going on? Oh, there are people here. Slowly but surely coming in. Oh, we should talk to this woman. She can be our new girlfriend for Bernie. Oh, we just got some mail. Maybe it's for Scott. Let's go see. I'm really confused. Why can't we get the mail? Our mailman is in the gardening club, but it's a male woman. What's going on? My main goal today is to get Bernie a girlfriend. This is going really well, guys. I think he's got his mum by a girlfriend, nearly. Ooh. Here we go, guys. First kiss time, right in the living room in front of everyone. Aww, true love. Her hair matches her clothes. It's crazy awesome. Okay. What else can we do here? Can we ask her to be our girlfriend? Ask to be girlfriend, there it is. Oh, the girlfriend and boyfriend now. That was pretty easy to do. A lot easier than poor Scott, who still hasn't found a woman. Okay, let's try propose as well, why not? Here we go. He's proposing to her. They just met today. Is she gonna say yes? Yes, she is, because she's a vampire. and She might never get anyone else. Yay. So cute. Well, there we go. Bernie's got a vampire girlfriend. I think that's amazing. Let's elope immediately in the living room. <laughs> this is great. Let's get everyone in here. What a beautiful wedding ceremony. Right in the living room. It couldn't be any better. Oh, so cute. Look at this. It's so emotional. Scott needs the toilet. <laughs> Scott is not interested in the wedding anymore. In fact, Nobody really cares. And that's how you know it's true love. Yes, coffee is good, says Kyle. And they're just standing there, really awkwardly. Just looking each other in the eyes. Like they've frozen in time. I think they might have frozen. Everyone seems to just be standing here. It's really, really strange. What is going on? I feel like because I've been playing this save file for so long that it's kind of like glitchy and buggy, which is funny at times, but also kind of annoying because like right now it's like frozen. Everyone's just frozen in time. But I feel like maybe it'll get a little bit easier when some Sims are moved out. Look, why is this happening? The moving in together screen and the build screen at the same time, it's just not not meant to work like that. Anyway guys, I feel like this is a good place to leave the episode. I'm gonna move out Bernie with Ingrid into Newcrest so that they can start a new life together and live happily ever after. We gave birth to a really cute baby vampire called Michelle. The game kind of glitched out and I think it's been quite an interesting episode. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy it, do make sure to leave a like on the video. Also leave a comment down below on some names, what I should call the babies. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.